Hi guys, it's Danny. Oh my goodness, the battle with spider mites continues. So I was gone for about two weeks, didn't tend for my orchids, and behold, I found my Bulbophyllum Elizabethan Buckleberry with a bad infestation of spider mites in only two weeks. Okay, what happened was that this Bulbophyllum set hanged to a Phalaenopsis orchid, and if you watch my videos, you remember I told you that spider mites do like Phalaenopsis orchids. Uh, it was the pink one, if you remember. She's in the trash right now because she was almost dead because of the spider mites. So, bye-bye, Phalaenopsis. That's that. But I do want to save my Bulbophyllum. Also, there is a problem. I intend to move along with my orchids to another country. And if my orchids are infested with pests, I cannot bring them in the country. So, what I decided was to, like, go full weapon on the spider mites. Of course, with non-toxic things, because I cannot use toxic things in my balcony, which is, like, attached to my house, and I have a pet, and so on. So, no. But what I decided to do is to make things a little bit more, more strong. And I'll tell you what kind of works. The whole oil thing kind of works, but I really don't like the oil spots. So, what I do now is I mix quite a lot of uh, dish soap, dish detergent, it's bio, in this bottle of water. So I think the ratio, hmm, maybe two tablespoons or three tablespoons, I don't know, I just pour a lot of dish soap in water and also I pour some alcohol in as well. Now what happened is uh, that the stronger solution makes the spider mites, kind of suffocates them, it makes them stick to the leaf. So when I remove them, actually, they're pretty stuck to the leaf. I'm sure they're dead. So I think the issue was that my solution was not as strong as it should have been. Because soap, dish soap, actually works on spider mites. So I'm making a pretty strong solution. Also, I am using pure alcohol in some cases, in some very affected orchids, tiny orchids. And you know what? Who survives, survives and comes with me. And who doesn't survive? Well, bye-bye. I will miss you, but I will order another one. And it's not that I'm heartless, but sometimes you really, really reach a point where you cannot stand it anymore and you start to become a little bit heartless. As I mentioned, especially because I might not be able to bring my orchids with me if they have pests and I do not want to risk that. Alrighty, so that's what I'm gonna do from now on. So far, so good. Some orchids do not have spider mites anymore. Nothing that I can see. No damage, no nothing. But some are really, really prone to spider mites. And sadly, I do want to save this Bulbophyllum because he looks horrible and I care for it a lot. But you know what? In the case that I still have spider mites in the springtime when I'm gonna move, um, yeah, I'll reorder this one and that is that. I might just dip them in pure alcohol and get it over with. As I said, I do have to be a bit merciless, even though it is my fault because I didn't properly quarantine my orchids. So in my greenhouse, everybody will stay quarantined and they will get sprayed with solutions before they get into the greenhouse. I learned my lesson. Now, as I was saying, spider mites do have some preferences. I have spider mites on Phalaenopsis, then Drobiums, but stuff like Vandas and Vanda related orchids with thick leaves, Cattleyas and stuff like that do not get affected. I didn't see a single one, not a single damage. However, Encyclias do get affected because their leaves are pretty flimsy. So I do see a pattern with spider mites here and uh, I kind of know which orchids need more attention. Now, some of you guys suggested I start to use Listerine. Okay, the story with Listerine. I know a video on YouTube. If I manage to find it, I will post it in the description. It's a very old video. There's this guy who talks about non-toxic uh, methods to get rid of pests with orchids. And I've seen this about three years ago. It's a very old video. And I found it to be a good idea. So I started to look for Listerine. Unfortunately, in my area, I don't find the yellow or brown Listerine, which hasn't got minty stuff in it. Anyway, I only find the mint stuff. But I did check the composition of Listerine, the brown stuff, it appears that the main ingredient is alcohol. So really, Listerine to me is just a more expensive alcohol. You can do a mixture with rubbing alcohol and water and practically it will be the same thing for the pests. Alcohol does kill pests or certain pests. Uh, let's say snails in general. So you can replace hydrogen peroxide with isopropyl alcohol if you have it. I'm not sure about ethanol and methanol. Um, they say it affects orchids. But you know what? I'm going to try it because I really want to get rid of the spider mites. So, guys, thank you for mentioning it. Thank you for advising me to use Listerine. But really, I don't want to spend a lot of money on alcohol. And that's it. I'm just going to try it with my ethanol whatever solutions.
Okay, so now each time I water my orchids, I shower them. And I didn't show you, this bottle actually has some holes in the cap here. So this is how I shower my orchids with this solution. I do not spray it because my hand will hurt. I have a lot of orchids. I just shower them with this stuff. And really I've been starting to use a lot of dish soap for about two months already with good results. However, I just missed that damn phalaenopsis. I thought she was okay and I just... I well, I kind of ignore my Phalaenopsis for some reason. I ignored her and behold, she affected another orchid, which is not funny. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Shower ring with dish soap and alcohol as well. And hopefully, they will survive. Not the spider mites, the orchids. Alrighty, so this was the video for today. Kind of ranty. I am at a loss with spider mites. They are hell. I would prefer to have mealy bugs or snails or anything else, even scale, because I can see them. Spider mites, on the other hand, are invisible. So, anyway, wish me luck. Hopefully, I can get all of my orchids with me, but I have to admit that there is a possibility that I will not take all of my orchids due to this problem. Everything that has spider mite damage or I know is prone to having spider mites and I'm not sure if I got them rid of will not come with me to my new location. And that is that. So please guys, quarantine your orchids, treat them before you introduce them into your greenhouse or growing space because it's gonna be hell afterwards. And you know what, I think I'm gonna start to do a maintenance program. I'll dish soap all of my orchids, even if they don't have spider mice, just in case. Because really honestly, I don't know where I got the spider mice from. Thank you for listening to me. Hope I didn't bore you too much. If you'd like to see more videos from me, orchid updates, identifications, and more optimistic videos, just subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis. You can also leave me questions, suggestions, and whatever you'd like to share with me in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com, where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And if you click on the right side of your screen, you'll be directed to another orchid video. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!